Recap in minutes. In today's video, we will be enjoying a German war and historical miniseries film, entitled Generation War. There will be spoilers ahead, chill out and enjoy. This series is about friends who go out to war during the German invasion of the Soviet Union and make a promise to be back for Christmas. The movie series begins with brothers Wilhelm and Friedhelm bidding goodbye to their parents as they are commissioned to serve in the German military during World War II. They will be leaving tomorrow. They then head to the pub to meet their friends. This could be the last time that they get to see each other. Charlotte proudly shares with Greta that she just passed her exam to become a military nurse. This is her passion. They share a hug and Greta prepares her treat at the bar that she is bartending. She teases Charlotte to express her feelings to Wilhelm as their country is at war and anything can happen. Charlotte is determined to wait until the war is over. Moments later, the brothers arrive. Victor, a practicing Jewish and Greta's boyfriend, also arrives on a bike. While they are having fun inside, a knock on the door startles them. Victor is not supposed to be there at this time of the night being Jewish. They manage to distract the officer and Victor is spared. They then take a group picture before leaving for war. Lieutenant Wilhelm and his team are on their way to Moscow. Friedhelm shows little interest when he becomes the laughingstock of the for failing to kill a Russian and for not showing tenacity like the rest of them. Wilhelm receives an order from Captain Fail. They spot a resistance army in a nearby factory and Wilhelm is tasked to take care of it. The assignment proves to be a difficult order as one of his men, Schmidt, gets shot in the neck and killed while Freitag gets shot in the belly. Wilhelm is able to advance his position and capture the Soviets. Driven by rage, Schneider hits one of the captured Soviets with the rear of his gun. He is ready to go for the kill but it is stopped by Wilhelm. The rest of the German soldiers are also on the verge of executing the prisoners but Wilhelm orders to take them to the truck instead for interrogation. Charlotte is excited that she gets to work near the front line taking care of wounded German soldiers. However, she's taken aback by the reality on the battlefield and the serious injuries she gets to witness in her line of work. While assisting Dr. Jan performing an operation on a fatally wounded soldier, Charlotte is shaken and drops the scalpel to the floor. She is then asked to get out of the room. Victor shares his concern with his father as the Nazis might harm them due to their faith. His father assures him that Germans won't forget that he served the nation during the previous war. He then questions Victor why he still sees Greta knowing that it's prohibited. Wilhelm gets a commendation from his captain for clearing out the factory. He is then told that political officers, just like one of the captured Soviets, are to be executed. He then approaches the prisoner and takes him away from the sight of his men and shoots him in the head. Victor tells Greta about a rumor that Jews are sent to the east. The location where concentration camps are built. Victor went to the American embassy but there's no slot as of now for him to seek asylum. Greta knows she needs to do something to help him out. Charlotte is told that Dr. Jan does not want her anymore and she's given a different task to perform. Shen then picks a Ukrainian assistant named Lilia to aid her. While helping Lilia put back in place a soldier's dislocated shoulder, Dr. Jan praises Charlotte. She's back in the game. Victor confronts his father for still believing that they won't be harmed. He knows that being Jewish at this time is no longer safe. Their only hope is to get out of the country as soon as possible. While the intelligence service is performing a cleansing operation, Friedhelm notices that one of the soldiers grabs a little girl. He asks him to let her go as she's clearly a civilian. Wilhelm orders that the girl is freed. The Major joins in and asks the soldier to let her go. To their surprise, the Major shoots the little girl in the head. He makes a point that Jews are not considered civilians anymore. Wilhelm is reprimanded for the incident with the intelligence service major earlier. He is told by his captain that they are fighting a different war now as ordered by Hitler. Jews are now considered partisans. Friedhelm puts his comrades' lives at risk when he refuses to put out his cigarette while a Russian plane is patrolling. They are bombarded but manage to survive. The next day, Friedhelm is beaten up by his fellow soldiers and is taken to the sick bay where Charlotte is assigned. As the medical staff are ordered to move, Wilhelm's team arrives to escort them. Charlotte then gets to see Wilhelm for the first time since their last meeting. She reminds him of their promise to spend Christmas in Berlin. Greta is told by the Gestapo Major that she has been sleeping with that the Jews are no longer allowed to emigrate. The Major also warns her that dating a Jew is a racial shame. She reminds him that he's sleeping with her despite being married. As the Major leaves, Victor sees him. He then confronts Greta but she refuses to apologize as she believes that what she's doing is for their own good. For her to advance her singing career and for him to get out of the country. 
Wilhelm's team are headed to Moscow when one of them steps on a landmine while crossing a swamp. As everyone is backing down, he grabs Friedhelm and asks him to say hello to his sister. Moments later, the landmine explodes. To minimize the German soldier's casualty, Russian farmers are forced to walk ahead of them. Charlotte is concerned that Lilia might be stealing morphine. With the help of her friend, Hildegard, she sneaks up into her locker and checks her belongings. There, she sees a photo of her family and a menorah. Menorah is a key Jewish emblem. She is Jewish and also a doctor. Greta receives good news that Victor's documents are ready. He assures her that by assuming a different name and traveling for a chemical company, he'd be indispensable. Wilhelm's team is unable to gain ground heading towards Moscow as they are ill-equipped for the brutal winter. Victor's father finally admits that Victor was right. His mother hands him over the passport that Greta secured for him. He must leave immediately. Victor now realizes that Greta went out on a limb to keep him safe. Victor makes his way to the station but before he arrives, he gets arrested. The major who pretends to secure documents for him turns out to be behind his arrest. Charlotte warns Lilia to leave right away. Before she can react, German officers show up and arrest her. Charlotte feels guilty about it. Friedhelm volunteers to get some food for them. Over three hours have passed but he's not back yet. Wilhelm is starting to worry about his brother. He has been chased by the Soviets. Moments later, Friedhelm retreats back running and warns the Germans that the Soviets are coming. He drops down. Wilhelm is devastated to see his younger brother being shot at. He's not sure if he's dead or wounded. Episode 2 Friedhelm survives the attack and rejoins the team. Charlotte is taking care of critical patients including a Russian soldier. She asks Dr. Jan to check the Russian but having morphine shortage, he gives priority to other patients. He asks her to turn on the radio instead. They listen to a beautiful song without knowing that it's Greta singing it live. She's making a name for herself and still sees the Gestapo lieutenant colonel. Charlotte befriends a German soldier who suffered an eye injury. He confides that his team is in charge of killing Jews including women. Charlotte is worried about Lilia's fate. She feels responsible for reporting her. Greta is starting to get jealous of the lieutenant colonel's wife. He makes amends by promising that she'd go on a tour to perform. This makes her excited believing that Victor made it to France. Her excitement is cut short when told that she's heading to Russia to perform for the military. Before going to the airport, she drops by Victor's place to check for his parents. The house is now occupied by someone else as the city has been cleared of Jews. Victor is being transported on a train to a concentration camp along with other Jews. They are not certain what lies ahead of them. A prisoner named Alina starts to break the wooden floor and others follow suit including Victor. Alina and Victor manage to escape but are hunted by the Soviets. Alina suffers a nasty wound on her leg. Victor, using his knowledge as a tailor, stitches up her wound. Wilhelm is told that a famous singer will be performing tonight. A well-deserved breather before launching an attack on the Russian front tomorrow. They prepared weeks for this moment as they suffered setbacks in the previous encounters. They were near Moscow but have been pushed back to over 500 kilometers away. Greta makes a stunning performance in front of the troops. When she goes back to her room, she is reunited with Wilhelm, Friedhelm, and Charlotte. The celebration is short-lived as Greta needs to perform at a private party. Wilhelm states that he needs to leave too. This upsets Charlotte who was so happy to see him. Friedhelm confronts his brother the way he treats Charlotte. He explains that he does not want to keep her hopes up knowing how dangerous his job is. Wilhelm informs his team that they are moving out and attack. They will not proceed with their initial plan as they lost the element of surprise. The Soviets know that the Germans are about to attack. Battle ensues and the Germans lose a lot of their men. A tank is then utilized by the Soviets to overwhelm the already inferior German forces. Wilhelm orders his men to retreat. He asks for reinforcement for them to have enough personnel to advance their position but the request is denied. The next day, almost Wilhelm's entire platoon is killed. To make matters worse, a rocket-propelled grenade launcher heads his way that knocks him unconscious. Friedhelm can only watch in horror. The war has always been against his moral principles. He is certain that his brother died. Wilhelm retains consciousness. Instead of reporting back to the camp, he takes refuge at an abandoned tank then finds himself a cabin by a lake. Meanwhile, Friedhelm wears a Soviet uniform to survive. That plan backfires as he is shot by a German soldier. He is rushed to the medical facility. Charlotte begs Dr. Jan to save him. 
Charlotte breathes a sigh of relief when Friedhelm wakes up. He tells Charlotte that Wilhelm died. As soon as he recovers, Friedhelm is sent home along with Greta. Charlotte starts an affair with Dr. Jan. Friedhelm's dad is not thrilled to see his son whom he sees as weak and not man enough. He decides to go back to the front. Meanwhile, Greta goes back to the bar that she used to work at. A group of soldiers are being disrespectful to her. She puts them in their place by telling them that victory is not within reach. Greta is desperate to get a hold of the lieutenant colonel as she finds out that she's pregnant. She calls him at his residence and the call is answered by his wife. This infuriates the lieutenant colonel and she is arrested using the statement she made at the bar about the war. She tells him that she's pregnant hoping he'd go easy on her. Instead, he beats her up. Victor and Alina join a group of Polish partisans. Victor denies that he's a Jew as they hate Jews. Instead of helping Victor, they decide to keep him and ask for a bounty from the Germans. Episode 3. Victor is used as a decoy by the Polish partisans. He's tied down to a tree to attract German soldiers. They are then killed and stripped off of their belongings. Wilhelm's death sentence is reduced to probation. The sergeant in charge of handling the offenders is sadistic and is into beating them up whenever his command is not followed. At one point, Willem is ordered to burn down a hut even if civilian Russians are still inside. The Polish partisans find out that the Germans will be hunting for them tomorrow. They set up a trap by wearing German uniforms. Victor guides the military vehicle driven by Friedhelm where the rest of the partisans are hiding. They then ambush the vehicle and kill most of the German soldiers. Friedhelm survives and finds out that his brother is alive. Hildegard confronts Charlotte for secretly helping a wounded Russian soldier. She believes that once Germany loses the war, the Russians will not treat them the same way. Dr. Jan hands over a transfer letter to Charlotte back to Germany. Hildegard wanted to report her for what she did with the soldiers. She goes to confront Hildegard outside. There, she sees Wilhelm alive. Charlotte is overwhelmed with emotions as she thought that he was dead. Greta remains in prison and shares a cell with another prisoner named Erika. She credits Greta and her song as responsible for her meeting her husband. She is then taken to be executed. This hits Greta hard as she knows she'll be next in line. She is executed by means of a firing squad. While in a jungle, Wilhelm and the other offenders hear a loud announcement that the Russians are winning the war. They are lured to surrender and assured that they won't be harmed. One soldier goes on to surrender while the rest do not. The Polish partisans prepare to ambush a train that carries food and other supplies. As soon as it stops, they fire their weapons with the intention of killing all the personnel including the guards. They let their guard down thinking that they cleared the train. One manages to survive and kills two of the partisans. Victor volunteers to run towards the train to lure the shooter out. He gets hit in the neck but survives. The shooter is killed. Victor is caught helping Jewish prisoners get away from the train. The leader now knows that he's a Jew and Victor is expelled from the group. He comes across Friedhelm who asks him to run away but Victor has some questions that need to be answered. He wants to know what happened to his parents and to Greta. He is told that Greta has been arrested. A German officer goes behind Victor and points a gun to his head. Friedhelm kills the officer. At the medical facility, they are told to escape as Russians are just 500 meters away. Charlotte looks for Sonia, the Russian nurse that she befriended. When she fails to see her, she decides to leave but everyone has already left. She is reunited with her until the Russians arrive. Sonia is executed while Charlotte is held captive. Wilhelm has had enough of the abuses from the sergeant. He takes matters into his own hands and stabs him to death. Another soldier helps him ditch the officer's body. Friedhelm and his comrades come across an army of Russian soldiers. They are told to surrender as the war is over. Friedhelm chooses to fight and gets killed in the process. Victor goes back to their house and finds out that his parents are gone. Another family owns their place now. He goes to Greta's house and sees that Greta became famous. The way she always wanted to. He then comes upon the lieutenant colonel who is still in position despite being a Gestapo. Victor is told that Greta is dead. He proceeds to go to the bar where he met with his friends four years ago. The place is barely recognizable as a result of the war. Wilhelm joins in and then Charlotte appears as well. They share a drink and reminisce about the last moment that they were all together. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more videos like this and to help the channel grow.